What's up, guys? It's your boy Benny. Whatever goes around comes around, and karma is a bitch. And who's also the biggest bitch that we know? It's Hillary Clinton, and she is being screamed at from the left and from the right and from all sides. There's not a single person on planet Earth that supports Hillary Clinton right now, and it is delicious to see. She's made life a living hell for so many people on this planet, and now it's time for her come uppins. Now, we showed you last week that Hillary Clinton was screamed at in Houston about her and her husband's connection to Jeffrey Epstein and the largest, most prolific, most evil, most demonic, most satanic pedophile ring in human history. Hey, get up every day. Hey, Hillary, why's your husband in Epstein Island 20 Hey, Hillary, why'd your husband go to Epstein Island 26 times? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, SpaghettiO. So this is Alex Rosen. This is Alex Rosen. Alex Rosen then gets physically removed from the event dragged by his shirt. Amazing how you never see leftist protesters removed like this. And Alex Rosen is being dragged out by security. They rip his shirt. He's wearing a pride shirt. They're, they are dragging him across the floor. Horrible rug burn, probably. Alex Rosen, probably. <laughs> Got a free... Got a free uh, carpet burn there. There you go. All right. So anyway, Alex Rosen uh, is uh, was uh, ejected via Hillary uh, from the event for simply asking about Epstein Island. Well, the L's don't stop there for Hillary Clinton because, of course, that's brought that brought back into the news cycle. Uh, what are you trying to hide here? I mean, if you're going to literally assault a guy for asking you about your connection to this horrible pedophile network. Uh, the worst in human history, um, maybe maybe that means that you're hiding something. And of course, the Clintons are hiding something. Not even uh, the dorks on X who uh, are trying to frame this as an anti-Semitic Trump supporter dragged out of Hillary Clinton rally after he falsely accused Bill Clinton of visiting Epstein Island. The community note here is incredible. Look at this. Alex Rosen is a Jew, and there's no evidence relevant to this post to indicate that he's a Trump supporter. Bill Clinton did visit Epstein Island at least 26 documented times. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. Bring it back into the news. Bill Clinton was even asked about visiting Epstein Island so many times. The community note in real life. Any comments on the alleged uh, allegation of your uh, connection with Jeffrey Epstein? The Secret Service being like, I think the evidence speaks for itself, says Bill Clinton. Well, uh, what is the evidence? Okay, well, let's jump on over here to the right wing Daily Beast. Epstein frequently brought women to Clinton's White House, visitor logs reveal. Which women did he bring? Well, he brought Jelaine Maxwell. Here's a photo of Jelaine Maxwell and Bill Clinton together at the White House. She's, of course, in uh, federal prison for, I don't know, next 20 years for sex trafficking. Here's a photo of them. There you go. Look at that. Look at these two scumbags. Epstein had bizarre painting of Bill Clinton in dress and heels in his townhouse saying, baby, I own you. How did Jeff Jeffrey Epstein own Bill Clinton? Well, because Bill Clinton was a regular visitor to his island and did, you'd have, based on what we know about Jeffrey Epstein's island, you'd have to assume that Bill Clinton was in, let's just call it very compromising positions on the island and of course on camera. All aboard the Lolita Express, flight logs reveal that many Clint, uh, Bill Clinton trips and Alan Dershowitz took pe to, uh, to pedophile Jeffrey Epstein's private jet with anonymous women. In fact, some of the call logs were scrubbed on their uh, their trips to the underage sex slave ring island. Hmm. Alleged victim Virginia Roberts says she was recruited as a sex slave when she was 15 and forced to have sex with Prince Andrew, Harvard law professor Alan Dershowitz. Later, she says she was molested mid-flight on the private jet. 
And there you go. Here's the actual photo. Here are the flight logs. How much more evidence do you need? Oh, here you go. President William J. Clinton. <laughs> the Epstein flight logs. From JFK to the uh, Epstein Island Airport. Oh, boy. Photos allegedly saw Bill Clinton receiving massage from Jeffrey Epstein accuser. Oh, no. Two photos show da uh, Cl giving Clinton a neck rub in an airport lounge chair. Oh, boy. My, oh, my. Let's go ahead and see. Are there photos here? Ah, there we go. Hey, good job, Luke. There you go. This is one of the Jeffrey Epstein sex slaves. And there's Bill Clinton, all rosy-faced, uh, with this victim, with this horrible victim. And here's Bill Clinton literally on the private jet, flying to the island. Flight log show Bill Clinton flew to sex offender's jet much more than we previously knew. And, of course, here are the photos with them. With the community note, Bill Clinton was a guest on Epstein's private Caribbean island, according to the courtroom testimony of Epstein's victim. But it gets worse for Hillary Clinton. Okay? So that's that's the lead-up, and, and a hilarious one at that. Uh, it gets worse for Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton's week goes from bad for us after Columbia University students walk out on her lecture. So that's what Hillary Clinton's getting from the right, okay? But you can even call it the right. Well, I don't care. Like, the people who are uh, anti-predator, the anti-predator side. Is that my side? Yes, yes, it is. So call Alex Rosen, whatever you want to call him, okay? I just followed the guy on X. He's hilarious. Hillary Clinton week goes from bad to worse after the left-wing students at her Columbia University class, really just her playing, like, muling and pre playing president, walk out on her lecture. Oh, my God, what happened? Columbia University students, left-wing Columbia University students, walk out on Hillary Clinton's lecture uh, in a protest, a pro-Hamas protest. And so Hillary Clinton isn't sufficiently anti-war for them and so now that sparked a protest. The actions was in protest of what they had perceived as the school's role in publicly shaming students who signed up for a statement saying the Israel extremist government shared responsibility for the October 7th Hamas attack, which is, of course, totally evil. 300 students were seated at the Colonia University on Wednesday afternoon for a two-hour lecture on women's involvement and peace process delivered by Hillary Clinton. <laughs> peace process by the lady who brought you Benghazi. Women, women's involvement in the peace process. Not even halfway through the class, 30 students stood up and gathered their computers and backpacks and did a planned walkout. They were then joined by several dozen protesters in the lobby. There you go. So Hillary Clinton getting it from all sides here. This is the photo of the <laughs> lunatic masked students who will be soon to be baristas uh, walking out of Hillary Clinton's little lecture. Now you'll recall that Hillary Clinton uh, in this class was screamed at by another protester right, we've got of this, uh, two more people last to week. hear from. I'm sorry. You, you have a the, chance. Well, the, I'm not sorry. The, the you sit down. I, and I know you're not sorry. People, That's the point. The hypocrisy of this talk. speech. The I'm hypocrisy of the down. fact. Into my veins. Into my veins. Hillary Clinton getting screamed at in public is my favorite thing ever. This is Hillary Clinton walking the streets of New York. Let's go ahead and listen to how New Yorkers respond to Hillary Clinton. <laughs> baby into my veins so is hillary clinton even safe in old merry old socialist england nope here's hillary clinton with a ironically a very small child holding her uh war boudoir wardrobe being called a war criminal <laughs> as she's marched into some preposterous ceremony yeah so does anyone like hillary clinton Anyone? Again, check it from the New York Times. New York Times roasting Hill Dog. Hildebeest getting the old protest, student protest from the left, from the right. Man. Remember, Columbia University releasing. I mean, if I, if I were a student at Columbia University, I would have protested this video. Okay. This is the video that I would have protested. Hillary Clinton is a war criminal, obviously, deserves to go to Guantanamo Bay for what she did in Gu uh, Benghazi, to, just to Americans, not much less 
foreign populations all over the world as she continues Henry Kissinger's uh, foreign policy of uh, napalming people and asking questions later, droning people uh, and asking questions later, droning American citizens, actually, under Barack Obama's watch. But it is actually the cringeworthiness of this announcement video of Hillary Clinton's classes, class at Columbia University, that is criminal on the eyes, okay? It's so cringeworthy, it does make us hurt. And it, but but that, that is soothed by the fact that Hillary Clinton is getting screamed at everywhere. And so, ladies and gentlemen, I give to you uh, possibly the cringiest moment in Hillary Clinton's life. And that's saying a lot. Watch and be glad. Oh my God. What is it? It's Hillary Clinton, she's running. What? What? Hillary's running again? I know, I heard that's so crazy. This is wild, she's running again. Here I am. Hillary, huh. you're running again. Well, I sure am, Karen. I just got here early for the new class we're teaching together on foreign policy decision making. Classes don't start until September. Yeah, but I wanted to be prepared, Karen. You know, when it comes to crisis situations, you've always got to be prepared. Prepared? I think you're more prepared than anyone to teach this course. Now, what are we going to call it? Inside the Situation Room. Yes, and I'll cover the theory of political decision making and strategy. Mm -hmm. And I'll cover what it was actually like in the room during the bin Laden raid, the Iran sanctions, the Gaza ceasefire, you name it. Okay, but are you ready for whatever questions the students throw at you? <laughs> Bring it on. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, Karen, I've got to run. You heard the secretary. If you get inside the situation room, come prepared.